The outsides of both the chin support band and headgear are blue, and the sides that go against the head and face are black. Remembering the proper orientation of these colors on the headgear and chin support band will help you determine if your headgear is twisted or reversed. To attach the chin support band, hold the interface as you would place it on your face. Into the horizontal slot on one side of the interface, insert the end with the thin black headgear tab with the blue surface of the band facing down. Insert the band from the outside of the interface to the inside. Pull the band completely through to the end. The other end of the band is wider and thicker and cannot be completely pulled through the slot. Next, insert the end with the thin black headgear tab through the horizontal slot on the other side of the interface. Insert the band from the inside of the interface to the outside. The wide portion near the center of the band should not be pulled through the second slot. Loop the end of the tab down and attach it to the blue side of the band. For proper positioning and attachment, the Respironix logo and OptiLife name should appear on the back of the headgear, right side up. To attach the headgear straps, hold the interface as you would place it on your face. Insert the ends of the thin black headgear tabs through one of the two remaining slots on each side of the interface from the inside of the interface to the outside. To hold it in place, attach the black tab to the headgear. Before attaching the other side, make sure that the side straps are not twisted. Using the corresponding slot on the other side of the interface, insert and attach the black tab the same way. Note that the interface has two slots on either side. It is important that the headgear is attached to the same slot on each side. To disconnect the chin support band or the headgear, peel the black tabs and slip the fabric pieces back through the slots.